So a lot of people have this intrinsic belief that they can just stop using whatever they're using whenever they want. Um, and, I, and I think that that's just a human nature. Like we, we truly believe that. Um, but there is a piece of denial associated with it. And I think that, you know, when I talk about the brain extensively and I talk about the disease of addiction, um, essentially what I'm saying is if you have the disease of addiction, if the brain changes are present, um, then then by definition, you are unable to just stop using whatever it is. Um, and and that may mean that you actually jump from one substance to another or from a substance to a behavior. Um, so you may be able to give up one specific thing, um, but you're not able to just give up the need for high level dopamine or reward. Um, and so there's a, a jumping from one thing to the next or just an inability to stop. You try, you get a day or two, and then you're finding excuses to go back to it over and over. Um, that is the definition of addiction. That is the brain change that I talk about. Neurologically, that's what's happening in addiction. So for people who can just stop using everything and never replace it with anything and move on, um, there's no disease there. That That's like a uh, diabetic. I, I'm not diabetic. If I eat a piece of cake right now, my blood sugar is going to be very high as soon as we check it, um, but my body will regulate it and bring it back. So I'm not diabetic based on that one reading. Um, somebody who uses drugs even problematically and then stops using them and puts them away and never has to use anything else is not addicted. So yeah, there's a difference between the actual disease and people that use substances, even if it's problematic. 